What's up everybody? I hope y'all are doing great. Today we're gonna react to Nobody, a new uh, song released by Avenged Sevenfold. And this song is announcing their upcoming album uh, that is gonna be called Life Is But A Dream. And I'm super hyped for that because the last album they released was in 2016, seven years ago, and it was the stage. And even if we talk in terms of like songs, uh, the last song they released was Mad Hatters in 2018. So five years without anything from Avenged Sevenfold. I believe it is time for us to have, you know, a new song, a new single and see what they've been up to during those five years. And I'm also interested in seeing if they've grown, you know, how their sound has evolved and, um, you know, just what they have in store for us. Uh, so before we jump right into it, I just want to say I looked at the lyrics like I usually do for those reactions. And the feeling that I have is that this song is about someone who like who died and because they died, uh, came to realize stuff about life in general uh, kind of like when you're you know inside of a box and then finally you can step out of it and you can see things from a dif uh, different perspective because you're not in it anymore it's kind of that vibe that I have a little so yeah let's see if that translates into the music let's get to it reaction time let's go nobody Oh, it's like animated. <laughs> I'm already stopping it, you know, because I talked about the lyrics and the vibe that I got from it. And I mean, just in the 10 seconds that we, we have, um, yeah, there's, it's already the feeling that I got. You know what I mean? You know, it sounds like a trap song. I just, I just want some like trap artists to come and be like, skirt. Oh man, I was not ready for that uh, electronic hi hat. Like, T -t 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 -t. yeah, not ready for that. All right, let's get back. Okay, I'm stopping again, I know, but it's just, um, it's really different from what I kind of like expected, you know, those keys and like the sound of the the drums, the sound of the drums is really like different than what I expected. Uh, there was kind of like a quick play with the, on the left with the, like the ride and like a hi-hat. It was, it was really like interesting to, uh, to like listen to that. It's super like mellow chill from what uh, we're hearing. But yeah, let's get back. Yeah, the synth. I was not I was not expecting the synth.
Okay. Damn. Like queen vibe. Harmonies and shit. Wow. All right. Oh my God. There was so much in that. Um, so chorus, just the sinister gate, uh, sweet picking arpeggios, um, like vibe on the guitar. That's an avenge thing. And like that was there in the chorus. So, you know, that's, it's kind of like when you have a trademark and that's kind of like the trademark in terms of the guitar. Uh, then, you know, when you talk about like the voice for sure, like he has that nasal sound that he still has in, in that. Uh, yeah. It's really chill. It's the combo of the sweet picking like metal guitar with the electronic like I have that I have a hard time like processing a little and just like getting used to it. Um, yeah, and the harmonies that, that were kind of like queen vibes a little. I was not, yeah, I was not expecting that. It's so, it's different than uh, what I'm used to when we're talking about Avenged Sevenfold. But let's get back into it. Yo, that sounds like Daft Punk. Anyway. stop and again just in terms of the video i think this, this style of animation is called stop motion i really like it it makes me think of uh, a little piece of heaven that they released back in the days you know kind of like the same animation i think it's maybe their kind of vibe i think i think they like that also this little part where just death or the reaper uh, is taking you somewhere you know still goes along uh goes along the idea that i had about the song you know and we talked about death and and yeah just dying and being taken into that uh, knowledge path if you want to. So yeah, I, it's still the feeling that I have from this uh, the song. Uh, that do do doom do do doom that we hear in the chorus, 50-50 for me, to be honest with you. Um, I'm just, I, I like when it's more like metal metal, but I understand where they were going with that. So I still enjoy it, it's still nice. Yeah, I just feel like a good metal like bow wow would be like super breakdown, like insane. You know, like you open the pit and see stuff, yeah. Interesting. Uh, interesting for the video to see like tags and stuff. Ooh.
that was good. Okay. Is he gonna come back to life or something? Okay, so in terms of music, love the ending. That's like classic Avenged Sevenfold. The drums going uh, like borderline mel uh, melodically with the guitar, you know. And yeah, just like I said before, sweet picking with that melodic arpeggios. That's that's what we want. That's we expected, and they gave it to us, you know. That was that was cool. Really, really nice. Also, drop down, go in the comments if you have any, like, um, like knowledge or I would say, like, a perspective, like, an opinion about that part where, you, I'm gonna put it two seconds, but where he flips flowers and rocks and just see tags. I have, like, I think it's maybe, you know, like, when you came to real, when you come to realize that everything around you is kind of fake a little. Um, either that or borderline that you can buy anything with money and create your own world and buy things in order to like live in your own world that is not really true uh, yeah just uh, my point of view on that so yeah and then so musically uh, that's that and then in terms of the video I just like you know I just really like it it's so So you know, yeah, he's going into that part and then jumping out of the, the cliff, I believe. Also, kind of like reminds me of God of War for any gamers who are like listening. Um, yeah, then just dropping off, uh, dropping off the cliff and then see like going through all those different uh, phases, uh, colors, universe. And then I just love the ending so much when it just goes back to, you know, it, it all goes... Uh, like backwards so we're actually starting from the end and then going back to the beginning love that so much and then just the end where he goes back to the house and then goes back into his body it's really the, it's the feeling of that journey so it's really kind of like dying to understand things and then throughout this journey you understood stuff and then you come back um, I just want to listen to that ending again after everything that I've said, and we can just go through it together. Acceptance a little there too, you know. Like the skeleton doesn't seem stressed or anything. If I remember clearly, we're going through the eyes, you know, all seeing, uh, through the eye, all seeing eye, um, knowledge, understanding. And since there was the azure uh, letter, borderline feels kind of, kind of like it's a, it's a suicide, you know, and. It's, it's by, yeah, Borderline feels like it's a suicide and by dying, you kind of like realize that all of that was not really worth it. But anyway, to be honest with you, there, there's so much in that video uh, that is like so interesting and that, that we can like dissect. So go down in the comments and let me know what you think about the video and also the music. Final thoughts about the song. I really, I, re I really liked it. There was some parts that I was not ready for. Uh, but I think they're exploring, they're trying new things, you know. Can we say that an artist shouldn't do that? I don't think so, you know. They're free to do whatever they want. Time is evolving. People are evolving, changing. Five years without putting any music out. I think it's normal for people to try new things, you know. 
and we still they still gave us that signature sinister uh solo sweet picking arpeggio parts we also you know classic nasally voice all that kind of stuff that heaviness was still there but it was just uh, the sound was a little different but it still was heavy and avenge sevenfold vibe at least the latest uh, stuff that they released so yeah i also want to say that i really like that harmony part that kind of queen vibe i just feel like it fits with the theme of the song to have this light part compared to that heavy uh, that heavy part that was right before to be honest with you the lyrics and the video and the song all reflect the same uh, the same theme they all go well with each other um yeah the lyrics in the video for sure and then the song also adds a little like another depth to the meaning uh, that i think it has so yeah i just super like it I'm super excited and also curious to see if they're gonna explore more and try new things, try different things. Also, I wanna thank y'all for watching. If you made it till the end of the video, uh, thanks a lot. If you liked what you saw, then feel free to go down in the comment, uh, share what you think about the song and share, you know, some love down there. No pun intended. Um, so yeah, just like the video, subscribe and all that good stuff. Wish you a good day.